So who saw that coming? So the small little company, OpenAI Foundation, has transformed itself from a small little not-for-profit foundation into what is now moving into a profit-focused company. They were once small, they kept growing, they've got a partnership with Microsoft, and now they might even be coming public. Now, what do you think about this, Yuli? Uh, do you care about the business side of AI or do you just want to see the future grow? Interesting question. So um, Elon Musk has been suing OpenAI into the ground over this because he personally funded a lot of its growth in the early days uh, under the provisio that it was to save the world from Google, who was the big nasty gorilla in the room making nefarious, you know, profit-focused AI, right? <laughs> then they got a huge deal with Microsoft and, as in OpenAI, got a huge deal with Microsoft and became sort of a, a partially not-for-profit but a partially for-profit entity. Um, and now they've transitioned into a not-for-profit foundation, which is a, a, a small part of it, but most of OpenAI now is just this for-profit behemoth that will soon be going public. Um, it's going to... It needed to happen, honestly, because the amount of capital needed to wield, uh, you know, computing at the scale that AI is currently playing, you can't do that without serious funding. And the only way you get serious funding is by a lot of people thinking, oh, I can make a lot of money out of that and investing in it. So that's, that's what's happening now. It was already happening with all of their competitors. So realistically, if they had failed to do this, it wouldn't have stopped the world of AI from moving forward. It just would have been Google or Anthropic or Grok who ended up with the big AGI baton at the end of the day. Um, but what is interesting is uh, their deal with Microsoft has changed. So they've reduced the ownership stake, but the original deal with Microsoft was, you have whatever it is, a third of our company, half our company, until we hit AGI. And then the deal's off, because after that, we don't know what the world's gonna look like. It's the singularity. Um, they've changed that now. It's only about a 25% ownership, but it persists through now to 2032 when they'll renegotiate again despite whether or not they re reach AGI in that time. That's a huge deal because that was that that loosely defined term of AGI was a big, scary thing for a lot of people in the room when it uh, dictated whether or not Microsoft still owned any of OpenAI. Right. Exciting stuff. Well, hopefully it goes well because I want more tooling as at the end of the day as a dev. Need help with AI solutions? Click on the channel link and follow the link tree.